hello welcome back to my channel laundry sews welcome back to another exciting sewing tutorial in my previous video i made a mermaid dress that has a cutout and after making that i i was inspired by that dress and i decided i'm going to use the same pattern and make a corporate dress so guys watch as i use this after making the mermaid skirt yesterday this is the fabric remaining so this is what I'm going to use to make this corporate dress. I decided I'm not going to waste, you know, my mates dresses, you can, they can be wasteful. So I decided I'm not going to waste this. I'm going to turn this into another dress um, that we use for a corporate dress. And I have this leftover black fabric. So these are what I'm going to use. If you're making yours from scratch, you can use half yard of this or get, I'm not sure they sell half yard, so you can get one yard and cut out of it. And then for the main bodies, this is a pink. I think you should use like um, one and a half yards. That should be okay. So for me, I'm using this. I can't waste all this material, you guys know. So let's start with the tutorial. So actually guys, this is the pattern we used yesterday so both the pattern and the fabric i'm not going to waste it so we're going to convert this into a mama, uh, a corporate dress so guys if you guys watch that video if you have not watched that will drop it in the link below so you see the cutout that i made so what i'm going to do this will be the black mm -mm, this will be the pink this will also be the pink and then this will be the black fabric so I'm going to cut out this. As you can see, you, you will notice I have added notches, balance notches. So when I'm cutting this out, I'm going to mark all these balance notches. This will help me to, you know, match this up when I'm sewing it. So I'll go ahead and separate this. I already separated it in the last video, but I'm going to add sewing allowance to them now. So already when we were making the pattern, we have already added the side seam all the sewing allowances so when i cut this out now this lace i'm going to add sewing allowance all around so that we can sew it first i'm cutting out the black if you notice you will see that i have added sewing allowance to all the side that i have cut out so i'm going to cut this out and i'll cut out all the other pieces So guys, after cutting this, don't make the mistake of forgetting your balance notches, else you're going to ruin your design. So I'll go ahead and mark all my balance notches. I'll do the same thing on all the other pieces. I want to add a flounce to the cutout. So next thing I'm going to do is to make a flounce. So I have my fabric into two like this, as you can see. I'll go ahead and make a flounce now. So I'll just pick a point anywhere you want. You can pick, just pick a point. Um, this is not showing. So let me change my chalk. I hope you can see the pencil. So I just picked a point here. I'm going to mark a radius of two inches around this. So um, just place your tape around the point you took and make two inches around for a radius. This is how to make the simplest flounce. So I have other tutorials on how to make flounce, so if you want to watch that, if you if this is too um, <laughs> too advanced for you, but I think it's simple though. So just mark two inches all around. So next, I'm going to divide this into four. So go ahead and divide it into four, like this. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So four like this. I don't know if this is showing. But guys, I have a full tutorial on how to make a flounce. So what I'm going to do is, on this side, I'm going to mark 4 inches. That's the width of my flounce. So I'll mark 4 inches like this. Next, from this line, you know, I started, this is the line where I mark the 4 inches. From this line, I'm going to make a curve. You just curve it, coming to the, towards to your 4 inches. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, I, I'm not sure. This is showing, you know. Ah! 
you come towards your four inches like that. This is not showing at all. I'm sure of that one. Okay, guys. So, I'll just make four inches all around like this. And as I'm coming, I'm making four inch. Wow. Guys, I've tried all the chalk, all the pencil. No one is writing. So, guys, I have a full tutorial on how to make a flounce. So, just watch that video on how to make a flounce. I can see what I'm doing, but I'm sure you can see it. So, just make sure you watch the video on how to make a flounce. So now I'll go ahead and sew this round. So this is the pieces of all the cutouts. Can you see? I've not joined it. And this is the flounce that I have made. I made two flounce. So this smaller one, I'm going to place it here. If it needs gathering, I'll gather it just to make sure it all enters. And then I'm going to also place another one on this side like that. So I'll go ahead and place it now and I'm going to match up the notches. Can you see the notches? This will help it for you to sew it. That way they will align properly. So make sure you always notch your, if you have any cutouts like this, make sure you always notch them. So I'll go ahead and do that now and show you in the next step. This is it after sewing the flounce, can you see? Next thing I'm going to do is to make a facing. I made a facing for this, so I'm going to go ahead and place this here and I'm going to sew it. This is it after sewing the facing, can you see? The next thing I'm going to do is to sew the shoulder. For me to sew that, for the back, I've already added invisible zip to this. And I also faced this, as you can, as you can see. So guys, I added in, um, interfacing to this. Um, we call it hair stay in Nigeria. I added it to it before I made my invisible zip. I have a full tutorial on how to make invisible zip if you want to learn how to do that. So next thing I'm going to do is to... For me to sew the shoulder, I'm going to align these two together like this, as you can see, and sew it straight. After doing that, I'll go ahead and place this together and sew the side seam. So you're going to align it together and you sew the side seam. This is it after sewing the shoulder and joining the side seam. I'm going to do leg of mutton sleeve. That's what the sleeve I want to add to this. Um, when I was making it, I lost that footage. But this is the simplest leg of mutton sleeve I'm going to show you guys. I didn't, um, when, I was, when I was making it, I, I lost that footage. So basically you can see my sleeve has been cut into two. So what I did was just to, you know, open it up like this. This would be on fold here. You open it up like this. That is basically it. That's basically what I did. You know, straight like this, as you can see. You just open it up like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Just open it up and you follow here like this and cut it. So this is just what I did. I'll go ahead and cut this out on my fabric and show you guys how it looks. So this is it after sewing it. Can you see? Next, I'm going to go ahead and add it to my dress. So you just go ahead and add it to the dress. So I'll do that and that will be it. We are done for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.